If you've heard of glaucoma, likely you've heard of open angle glaucoma and closed angle glaucoma. In this video, we're gonna go over the differences of the two types and what symptoms you might experience with each one. Let's focus in. Now to understand these two types of glaucoma, we wanna talk about the angle of the eye. So if you look at this picture, the angle of the eye is formed by the iris, the color part of your eye, and the cornea, or the clear dome on the front of your eye. And where these two structures meet, they form a junction or an angle of the eye. Now within this angle of the eye, there are drains or the trabecular meshwork that drains the aqueous humor fluid in the front of the eye. The front of the eye will naturally produce this aqueous humor and will make it free flowing and then it will drain into trabecular meshwork. The best analogy that I can give you is thinking of a faucet. When you turn the faucet on, the water will flow out the faucet and drain down the drain. Now, in the case of open angle glaucoma or primary open angle glaucoma, that angle is completely open, but maybe the drain or the trabecular meshwork is clogged a little bit and it's restricting the drain or the flow of that aqueous humor. It's almost like if you have the sink and maybe you have some hair or whatever clogged in the drain and you have the faucet on, maybe it's not draining as fast as it should and so the water kind of sits in there and slowly drains until it's gone. Same idea, same principle with open angle glaucoma is that drain is not, is not going as fast as it should or you're producing more fluid than you should and so it can cause your eye pressure to slightly raise and that raised eye pressure can push and damage the optic nerve causing glaucoma. Now the exact cause for this is poorly understood in the glaucoma world. This trabecular meshwork maybe can get clogged with pigment or proteins but either way the idea is you need to try and regulate the flow of that aqueous humor in the eye to bring down the eye pressure. Now the symptoms of open angle glaucoma, if you haven't seen my video about that, a lot of people with glaucoma are walking around and don't even know that they have glaucoma. They can have raised eye pressure and not even feel anything. They don't feel anything in their eyes. They don't notice any blind spots. They don't notice that their optic nerve is being damaged. So really in the early stages, you can be completely asymptomatic. Now let's talk about closed angle glaucoma. As you can imagine with this one, the angle, instead of being open, it is closed off. And so it is completely shutting off any access to the trabecular meshwork or to the drain of the eye. It's almost like if you took your sink and blocked the drain, so it keeps the water from actually accessing the drain, that will cause the water to rise up in the sink really fast. Same thing with your eye. It'll cause your eye pressure to rise up really fast and really high. But the symptoms of this one are completely different. You definitely feel this one. A person with angle closure glaucoma or acute angle closure glaucoma, meaning their angle all of a sudden closed to the point that it's causing the pressure to raise up, that person will be in serious pain pain to the point of nausea, severe headaches will cause your eyes to be red, blurry vision, watering. Usually the patient that has angle closure glaucoma that comes into the clinic, they come in hunched over, holding the eye, definitely in pain, crying, light sensitive, doesn't even want to open the eye or touch anybody. They're just hoping for relief, any immediate relief that you can give them. Now, because this raises your eye pressure really high and really fast, it can damage the optic nerve really, really fast. And so someone that's having an acute angle closure glaucoma attack needs to be seen right away to have treatment right away to hopefully keep them from going blind in that eye. So usually when that patient comes in, they're gonna be dumped on with a lot of eye drops, a lot of eye pressure lowering eye drops, likely a surgery to lower that eye pressure really fast, maybe a laser to reorganize the drain or create a new drain in that eye. So the name of the game of that one is to try and lower your pressure as fast as possible. Now, both of these types of glaucoma are associated with eye pressure and high eye pressure. So the treatment is to lower the eye pressure, whether it's eye drops or surgery. Now with primary open angle glaucoma, it's usually a slow progressive type of condition. There's a slow damage to the nerve that happens, whereas 
angle closure glaucoma happens really, really fast. And sometimes we'll diagnose people with narrow angle glaucoma where their angles might look a little bit narrow. It will put them more at risk of getting an angle closure in the future. And so we might take preemptive precautions or do a procedure to hopefully keep them from getting an acute angle closure glaucoma. Now there are many other different types of glaucoma, some that aren't even really related to eye pressure. And so definitely check out my playlist, my full playlist here about glaucoma if you wanna learn more. I'm Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.